Prime Minister Orban, Victor, welcome to Jerusalem again. You were here in uh, Israel in July of 2018. Since then, uh, I want you to know that uh, Prime Minister Orban and I meet uh, almost on a regular basis. We met uh, in Brasilia. Uh, we met uh, in Warsaw. We're meeting here. Uh, and uh, every opportunity that we uh, meet, we uh, take on the task of uh, fortifying even further the excellent relations between Hungary and Israel. They are growing in every direction. Uh, economically, in terms of security, diplomatically. I have to commend you for taking on the effort and your uh, foreign minister for uh, confronting the lies that are put forward against Israel in places uh, like the Human Rights uh, Committee, uh, in uh, EU forums and elsewhere. You stand up for Israel and you stand up for the truth, and I want to thank you for it. It is uh, a very important uh, alliance. I recall my visit uh, to uh, Hungary last summer. It was, uh, I was deeply impressed by your country and the development that is taking place there. And I also appreciate the opportunity to visit places that have great importance to the history of the, the Jewish people and the Jewish state, uh, namely the birthplace of Theodor Herzl, uh, without uh, whose leadership we would not be here today. Uh, we have um, many things that we share in the past we never forget the tragedies that uh, afflicted the Jewish people on the soil of uh, Hungary. We uh, share the uh, present. We are both small nations, democracies that share common values and common interests. And we strive for the future. We both want to build a future of, based on peace, on freedom, on prosperity. Uh, it's a very, very strong bond. Uh, we are also facing common adversaries. The biggest common adversary to our common civilization uh, is the force of militant Islam, uh, its radical forces, the terrorists that seek to bring down our planes, uh, bombard our cities, and murder our civilians. We are cooperating uh, in our intelligence services. I want to thank you for that, too. Uh, and we, uh, we have, uh, of course, uh, a common challenge. We recently saw Iran uh, trying to stage terrorist attacks on the soil of Europe, in Denmark, in France. Uh, and uh, we expect all European countries to join in the effort against the greatest sponsor of state of terrorism in the world, which is uh, the regime in Tehran. Uh, today we spoke about further ways to increase our cooperation in security and intelligence. We also uh, discussed the opportunities uh, to increase uh, our cooperation in trade, science, technology, health, the environment, many others. Uh, and by the way, I understand that soon we'll cooperate in the field of sports because the Maccabi Games, the European Maccabi Games, will be held in uh, Budapest. Uh, we're even cooperating on security there. But I think it's a symbolic uh, opportunity, a uh, symbolic uh, uh, place. It shows the <laughs> importance that uh, Hungary attaches to its relationship to, uh, uh, to Israel, uh, and I look forward to uh, uh, following the games. Uh, I commend you for uh, <clears throat> adopting the IRA definition against anti-Semitism. You did that yesterday. That's important. And most importantly, I want to uh, uh, thank you for uh, deciding to extend the embassy of Hungary in Israel <coughs> Uh, to Jerusalem, that is to have an extension in Jerusalem that deals with trade. This is important. It's a sign of our friendship, and it's also a place that can welcome you in Jerusalem next time you come here. Welcome to Jerusalem today, and I can say <clears throat> next year in Jerusalem, in the extension. Thank you. Thank you. So first of all, uh, we made an agreement in uh, Budapest when your prime minister was so kind to visit us, that there will be a V for uh, meeting here with the uh, the government of Israel, it's, all, it's proved to be almost successful. That was a first attempt, which is promising. I hope uh, we will be able to complete that mission later on. Second, uh, we, just, uh, we just celebrate the 30th anniversary of reestablishment of our diplomatic ties to Israel. Uh, and I would like to express uh, our respect to the Israeli people and at the same time to the Prime Minister Netanyahu, uh, because he played uh, uh, an important uh, and inevitable role to re-energize and reopen the cooperation between Central Europe and uh, Israel. 
we, we just touched upon political issues. Uh, I explained a little bit uh, how important the European election, uh, European Parliament election will be, not only for the Europeans, but having some impact here as well. And uh, our platform is very clear. We would like to have an outcome of the European election which help us to push back the anti-Semitism in, uh, in uh, Europe. And uh, we will make clear that we need new leaders and leadership in the European Union which never finance any NGOs anymore from public European Union money who are, who are in interfering political issues and being anti-Israel. We don't ac accept that kind of behavior and practice. Up to now we have it, so we would like to stop it. We have just recorded the memory that we fight, we fought together uh, at the level of the uh, United Nations against the global compact on migration, which is important having not only one voice in the international arena, we have our voice also, which emphasizes the legitimate interest of our nations and the right to defend our borders. Uh, I just informed the Prime Minister that Hungary is still continuing to support uh, the Hungarian Jewish community as we did in the recent years and one of the good examples in the future that hopefully the Maccabi Games will be one of the best and beautiful, uh, most beautiful game of, uh, of, of the history and hopefully the security side uh, we can provide together. And uh, we touched upon the issue of, uh, of economic cooperation. It's going well. You have, I mean, your Prime Minister, uh, you have uh, 210 companies being active in Hungary, providing job for, for 5,500 Hungarian people. So it's very important, uh, your presence in Hungary. So we hope that uh, you could be even stronger there. And we agreed that the innovative uh, car industry is an important issue, and uh, we will extend our cooperation on that field, especially because we have some special training fields uh, uh, investment in Hungary which is uh, necessary to have uh, in order to get forward in that industry. And finally, I just, uh, I just uh, informed the Prime Minister that the Hungarian government decided that we open up a, a trade representation here which will have a diplomatic status. Uh, so we, uh, we will appear uh, now uh, in Jerusalem officially as well. So I hope it will be a good step forward to even improve uh, the relationship between uh, the Israeli people and Hungary. So you said, welcome to Israel. Uh, my message is welcome to Budapest, which is your city as well. So Thank see you. you then. Thank you, Victor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.